Hello everyone, I'm sitting here with Sarah and Oliver and we're going to go through some brief positioning videos just to show you what we're looking for. One of my favorites is called laid back breastfeeding and this is where we lay the baby tummy to tummy on mom's chest. We use gravity to hold baby onto mom so we don't need to have as many pillows underneath to hold baby up. We mostly are creating a nest, a body nest on mom for baby so and a pillow under her knees. We're gonna lie Oliver right on top of you, just like that. Mm -hmm. You can see how Sarah's arm is creating a little space for Oliver's head to be. I also wanted to point out the way that you pull your baby onto the breast in these laid back positions is really just leaning them on top of you. The only rule is that baby is lying on top of you. So theoretically, baby could be lying this way, this way, even this way, more along the side of you. What you want to do is point your nipple towards the roof of their mouth and allow them to really come onto it. So in terms of neurological learning, this is getting quickly to your goal versus you doing it for them. And Sarah was just saying that this is her third baby to nurse and her first time doing laid back breastfeeding, so it's kind of exciting. <laughs> and Oliver looks really happy. He has a nice deep latch. Oh, he's telling us about it. What do you say? You can see how he's self-adjusting. So he pulls himself back, he pulls himself forward. You can see some of the innate feeding behaviors that all mammals do, whereby he's using his hand to actually massage some of the milk out. The person who invented this position, or who really did the research on this position, Susan Colson, hypothesized that this is how we evolved with babies lying directly on top of their mother's breastfeeding and you can see that this is the perfect gaze between mother and baby. So he can see her, she can see him, mom is relaxed. This is a really good position if you've had a cesarean section or if you've had any, um, any uh, trauma to your perineum during birth or some um, issues with your coccyx. It takes a lot of the pressure off of everything down here so it's a much more relaxed approach. And he just is quite into it. <laughs> Yay. We can note how Sarah has her arm just protectively holding on to Oliver, but she could, in theory, use this hand to interact with another child.